Please now take the time to complete uh, question number four before I, you proceed to the answers. Please take note to occupy more than um, half of the space provided. Give the title, the label of the axis slash units, label of the axis slash units before you proceed to the rest of the video. These are the answers that you can check against once you've completed the questions. Okay, so you draw a line of best curve. A line of best fit can be a straight line or a curve. So if you look at the uh, distribution of the um, points, you will notice that it looks more like a curve. So you try to uh, um, pass a curve through most of the Line, the plots and there are equal um, distance between some of the plots that are not on the line. Okay, so that is what the graph should look like. Then um, to find the initial um, initial rate of reaction, which is the next question, then you would need to use the gradient of the that portion of the graph. Okay, so this gradient is already given to you. The only thing missing here is the um, dotted line. Okay, so um, as is a good practice to have um, to show the gradient as a triangle. Okay, um, if you have not done gradient yet in mathematics, um, please look out when um, this part or portion of the mathematics is taught to you because the formula will be the same and you can use it for um, science whether it is chemistry or bio. So if we were to find out the initial reaction it is a rise or a run the change in the y-axis final minus initial then the time. So this will be your um, values based on the plots in the, in the tangent. Okay this coordinate and this coordinate okay and you will have 0 0.2 cm cube per second when so two conditions or factors that were kept constant in the experiment is temperature pH or the amount of enzyme used thank you girls